in your head of what retirement living might look like, scroll through the doors of Van Mall Retirement Community and you may just be surprised. Folks are having fun, the staff is cheerful, and the vibe, it's energetic, tranquil, and cozy all at the same time. Steve Leader here. I want to encourage you to visit Van Mall Retirement Community if you're thinking about retirement living. Living at Van Mall Retirement Community is all about you and what you want to do. No more chores, no more cooking, no more cleaning. And every month, you have the opportunity to do all sorts of activities and special trips. This month, you could see the Vancouver Symphony, the Northwest Senior Theater, or shop on Black Friday in Vancouver Mall. Move in now and you can receive $500 off your first five months of residency at Van Mall Retirement Community. Why wait? It's easy to learn more. Call 360-896-9140. Again, 360-896-9140. Tell them Steve sent you. Mark Levin. Once again, Obama has been in control of this government. Is he controlling the border? What is he doing on the border? Weekday afternoons, 3 till 6 p.m., only on Freedom 970. been constantly bombarded with breaking news, fake news, manufactured outrage. Unfortunately, the antiquated networks continue to only cover this with their predictable bias and dangerous agendas. So if you're tired of their game, and you're looking for a strong, honest voice outside the mainstream media, then look no farther than Levin TV and CRTV. Levin TV is one of the programs carried by our conservative review TV network. CRTV was created to be different, to be better. No other network provides more of the people you trust, the content you seek, and the viewing experience you deserve. With shows like Levin TV, In the Woods with Phil Robertson and Michelle Malkin Investigates, Louder with Crowder, just to name a few, you'll get a fresh perspective and unfiltered assessment of the issues that are truly important to you. It's time to cut the cord on the old guard and join the CRTV media revolution. Go to CRTV.com and start your free trial to get access to every show that CRTV offers. That's CRTV.com or if you're sitting in your car, I want you to pick up your cell phone right now and give us a call. 844-LEVIN-TV, 844-L-E-V-I-N-TV. Well, we have a great Levin TV tonight, as a matter of fact, and I don't want to be taxed. And I want to talk a little bit about that today, right now. I said the other day, yesterday, and I want to repeat it today. So let me repeat it now. These are not serious tax Which is very, very important. 
So while they may reduce your tax rate slightly, by eliminating or significantly curtailing that deduction, your tax rate is effectively going up. In other words, the tax rate you'll pay will effectively be higher. Now they're going to tell you they have studies and that the average person within your group, I don't know about you, but when I take, pay taxes, I'm not in a group. I sit down with a CPA because I can't figure it out. I've never been good with numbers, let alone the Internal Revenue Code, and I certainly don't want to sign anything under penalty of perjury. So they scare the hell out of you, number one. Number two, um, where is this streamlining the tax code? It doesn't streamline anything. What happened to the fair tax or the flat tax? What happened to filing your tax return on a single page? I'm not talking about people who don't pay taxes and then get so-called refunds for not paying taxes. Ladies and gentlemen, 50% of the people in this country who work are not paying a net federal income tax. That is an outrage. 60% of them are paying nothing or 5%. 40% of us are carrying the weight for the entire country, for the entire welfare state. We are the ones who are burdened with it. Our children are the ones who are burdened with it. Our grandchildren are the ones who are burdened with it. 40% of us carry the weight for 60%, and it's even worse. It's even worse. The vast plurality of individual income taxes is paid by the top 5%. Many of you may say, well, that's not me, I'm not the top. Many of you are the top 5%. You may not know it, but you are. They have skewed these groupings and categories. They've used language to deceive you. Oh, I'm, I'm in the middle class. Actually, many of you are not in the middle class anymore. Many of you are not. And so, we're told this is the biggest tax cut in American history. They're creating a new top rate. They're creating a new top rate. Of 45.6% for an individual who earns over a million dollars and a couple over 1.2. Wow, screw that, I don't earn that. Many of them are small businessmen and women who do not file as corporations. They file as proprietors. In other words, they file an income tax form like many of you do. They're gonna get clobbered. They're gonna get slammed. Clobbered and slammed. And what about them competing? What about the difficulty they're going to have? I reject the House proposal. And by the way, let, let, let me just take a right, because the media keeps shoving microphones in the faces of, uh, of Republicans now. Asking them about Roy Moore. They don't shove microphones in the face of Democrats asking them about Bob Menendez. Why is that? Well, we know why. All right, I'm back. So... I understand that this would be a political setback for the president, but I'm not interested in political setbacks, political progress, political this, political that. The president should get involved in it directly. The president should control this process the way Reagan did. If you leave it to these dunderheads, these knuckleheads in Congress, this is what you get. But my fear is if it does pass, either of the plans, that will be an enormous setback for the Republican Party and conservatives generally. And I'm very troubled that a lot of conservatives in Congress aren't speaking out against this. I know they quote unquote won a victory. I know they did. I don't blame them. Then propose something that you can celebrate and actually have a victory over. This is an it. I was there during the Reagan tax cuts. I was in the administration. I lived through that. Many of you did. This is not that. And to his credit, I know it's amazing, Jake Tapper over there at CNN, he had Mnuchin on, the Treasury Secretary, the Liberal Democrat from Goldman Sachs, New York, looking out for the little guy, with Jake Tapper. Cut one, go. Um, point to the fact that President Trump keeps saying that this is the biggest tax cut in history. So we've tried to find a way that this is true. Um, but it's not. As if you look at the tax cut bill, tax bill as a percentage of the gross domestic product, it will be the eighth largest. If you look at it in inflation adjusted dollars, it will be the fourth largest. If you look at it just dollar for dollar, it would be a third largest. Isn't it important just to like have facts 
factual debates when discussing these things? Well, as you just commented, there's lots of different ways of looking at it. This will be the largest change since President Reagan. Largest change, and the largest change to the tax system, and the largest cuts since Reagan to the tax system. So think about That's this. That's not the biggest think, tax think cut. Think about this. Heard biggest tax cut going from 35% to 20% in corporate taxes, if that's not the biggest tax cut to make our businesses competitive, what is? The pass-through rate is going to be the lowest rate since the 1930s. But you're making, that's, not, you're making, that's not... It sounds like you're making factual arguments that are different from what President Trump said. No, he said it's the biggest tax cut in history. It, it is the biggest tax cut in history on mostly every single part of the plan. No, it's not. And why do you keep lying? If you want the biggest tax cut in American history, then offer the biggest tax cut in American history. If you're not going to offer the biggest tax cut in American history, then stop saying you are. You're creating a top bracket 